All right, so you're building the perfect home lab server, and it always comes down to that one huge decision, the CPU. It's the brain of the whole operation. And for years, the fight has always been between the two big players, Intel and AMD. Today, we're diving deep into a really fascinating showdown for the heart of a Proxmox setup. So, which one is the smarter play? Let's get into it. Oh yeah, we've all been there, right? You've got Zabbix keeping an eye on everything, Netbox mapping out your entire digital kingdom, maybe a pie hole keeping the ads at bay. It's your personal command center, this little beast humming along 24 seven. But as you add more stuff, that hardware question just gets louder and louder. And that question, it usually boils down to this. Do you go with Intel, the one that feels safe and efficient? Or do you go with AMD, the one known for its multi-threaded power and just great value? It's the classic home lab crossroads. So to make this really concrete, we're gonna focus on a very specific and honestly, a very common battle. It's a choice between two super popular budget-friendly CPUs that a lot of builders find themselves staring at. Okay, let's meet our fighters. In the red corner, we've got the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G. It's a real fan favorite, known for being a great deal with its four cores and eight threads. And in the blue corner, the Intel Core i5-9500, a trusty workhorse with six cores, six threads, and a reputation for barely sipping any power when it's just sitting there. At first glance, it really looks like a choice between saving money now or saving money on your power bill later. So naturally, the first place everyone's mind goes is power consumption. I mean, for a server that's going to be on all the time, this seems like the most important thing, right? But is that really the whole story here? Well, when you look at the actual numbers, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, the Intel chip definitely has an edge. It idles about 5 to 10 watts lower. But just look at the chart. Visually, in the grand scheme of things, that difference is, well, it's pretty tiny. Okay, but what does that tiny power difference actually mean for your wallet? Let's be real. When you do the math over three years of this thing running 24-7, that 5-watt advantage saves you maybe 30, 40 bucks total. We're talking about one tank of gas. All of a sudden, that amazing idle efficiency doesn't seem like such a game changer, does it? Especially when the AMD chip is usually cheaper to buy in the first place. And this, this is where the whole story just takes a massive turn. Because if the decision isn't about saving a few watts, then what is it about? Well, it turns out there's this huge, often overlooked factor that completely changes the entire debate. This is AMD's secret weapon. So just forget about those minor power differences for a minute. The real deciding factor in this whole Proxmox showdown is something way more valuable in the long run. It's the upgrade path. See, it's not about the power your server has on day one. It's about the potential you unlock for the future. And this is where one of these platforms offers you a huge runway, and the other one just offers a brick wall. The foundation of that runway is AMD's Socket AM4. This platform was, and still is, an absolute gift to PC builders because of its incredible longevity. It means the motherboard you buy for your little 3400G today isn't just a one-time thing. It's an investment that can pay off big time down the road. And here's what that journey looks like in practice. You can start with the humble but totally capable 3400G. Then, a couple of years from now, when you need more horsepower, you can just drop in a Ryzen 5 5600X. And if your home lab ambitions go totally crazy, you can go all the way to a monstrous 16-core Ryzen 9 5950X all on the very same motherboard. You see, this completely changes the calculation. It's not about a simple one-time purchase anymore. It becomes a strategic long-term play. That smart, affordable start with the 3400G gives you a golden ticket to a future of absolutely incredible performance potential. So, what about the Intel side of this? Well, the LGA1151 socket that the i5-9500 uses, it's basically a dead-end street. Your upgrade options are stuck in the ninth generation. If you want anything more powerful, you're not just buying a new CPU, you're ripping out the guts of your machine for a full motherboard and CPU swap. This table just lays it all out, black and white. With Intel's platform, you top out with an i7-9900, eight cores, a pass mark score of around 15,000. Not bad. But with AMD's AM4, you can go all the way up to that Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 cores, 32 threads, for a score that's three times higher. That isn't just an improvement, that's a whole different universe of performance, all without changing your core setup. And you know, it's not even just about the raw core accounts. The Ryzen 3 400G has all these other little perks. Its built-in graphics are actually pretty good, which means you don't need a separate GPU. 
that frees up a super valuable PCIe slot for things a server actually needs, like a 10 gigabit network card or more storage. Plus, its multi-threaded performance is just perfect for juggling services like Zabbix, which absolutely loves having more threads to play with. So, after weighing all the evidence, after looking past the surface-level stuff, we come to the verdict. And for the savvy home labber building a Proxmox server, the choice becomes surprisingly clear. At the end of the day, the smart choice isn't about saving a few watts on your power bill. It's about making a strategic decision that unlocks a world of future potential and allows your system to grow with your ambitions instead of holding them back. I absolutely love this quote from the source because it just nails the feeling perfectly. Intel is the safe, predictable choice. Sure, but AMD with that incredible upgrade path, that's the secret sauce. That's the choice that takes your home lab from just being good enough to being something truly slick, powerful, and ready for whatever you throw at it next. You know, in a world where everything feels like it's designed to be replaced in two years, that kind of forward-thinking platform is a real breakthrough. It empowers you to tinker, to grow, to innovate, all without having to tear everything down and start from scratch. So the only question left is, what are you going to build with it? Your move.